Hey YouTube, I'm Lucky and today I'm going to share, share with you how to do the infinite invisibility build that I found recently in Destiny 2. And it's extremely nasty to say the least inside Crucible. Um, who knows where else it will be really strong. But as you can see here, I am infinitely invisible. I actually go from invisibility straight into my next invisibility without going out of it. And I can play like this in Crucible. This is not a mayhem match as you'll notice my super energy bar is not skyrocketing full. Uh, this is just a normal crucible match i just can be infinitely invisible and i'm going to show you exactly how to do so right here right now and i've been using this bunch of crucible and it's as nasty as you would expect so the first thing is you're going to need year one armor and the reason why is it has paragon mods that you can put on it so you're going to need paragon mods you're going to need year one armor if you don't have either of those you might be in some trouble but what you can do like i did is go into collections go into armor and under here you'll find armor pieces all throughout here that have Awesome stats and what you're going to want to focus on is mobility. Sword Flight 4.1 is amazing. You got 20 mobility here, 30 here, 20 here, and 30 here. That's 100 mobility, which will help ex uh, a ton when you need to refresh your class ability as fast as possible. Mobility stat is tied directly to class ability for Hunter. And so this is a great set. You could also grab some few other sets if you want to look different, of course. Um, but grab that if you don't have it already or if you have some armor in your vault, that can be helpful. Uh, once you have fully decked yourself out with that, you're going to want Frosties. Year 1 Frosties are better than Year 2 because you can put a Paragon mod on them. As you can see here, I have a Paragon mod on mine. And if you were to have Year 2 or have to pull them out of collections, they would also be Year 2. So it's going to be a little bit detrimental to your build, but you can still make it work, so don't stress it too much. All right, once you have the Year 1 armor on and you have put Paragon mods on, whether you've got them from collections or wherever, you're pretty much good to go. As you'll see here... I actually have 85 mobility. And so I am actually going to swap over a few of my armor pieces here. Uh, my Sword Flight 4.1 that I actually pulled out of collections. And my um, I have another chest piece right here. Here it is. I put on these two chest pieces and now I have 100 mobility. So this uh, lowers my class ability cooldown to 9 seconds. However, with the Paragon mods, it's lowered even further. And this is a year 1 mod. It does not apply to year 2 armor. So that's a little bit of a tricky thing there. And it definitely affects the uh, class ability cooldown. As you can see, it's extremely fast. And Frosty's here. Uh, sprinting gives you energy. Uh, now, with this build, I can run around. And as I run, I will get my class ability back so incredibly fast that I can actually never... I never have to leave invisibility. Obviously, when I start to shoot someone, I will lose invisibility. But as soon as that engagement's over, I can run and I have my class ability back. And so, if you get into a gunfight, you can shoot someone... Get your class ability back. Even if you use it immediately afterwards, it's fine. Just run for a, a second or two, and you've got it back. The Frosties are extremely helpful for this build. And there's actually a few variations of this build that I'll share with you before I head out. Uh, there's Graviton Forfeit can be nice for this. Uh, Worm Husk is also really nice. You can swap these out. However, the Frosties gives you the fastest regeneration of your class ability, and i.e. the most invisibility. So you're going to want to uh, use the Frosties if you want to stay invisible as much as possible. But swapping over to Graviton Forfeit or Worm Husk is really, really powerful. Um, I was also using Bombardiers, which wasn't extremely effective, but it was kind of fun to just drop bombs everywhere, all over the place. Uh, and then Gemini Jesters is extremely powerful. You mess with the team so much. Oh my gosh, Gemini Jesters is probably one of the most fun to play with. But Bombardiers can also be fun. And when you use Bombardiers, you essentially drop these bombs all over the place. And your class ability will come back extremely fast, but not nearly as fast as when you're using Frosties, as you can see there. You can drop these bombs all over, so if someone's chasing you, you can uh, blow them up and stuff if you like Bombardiers, if that's your thing. Me, personally, I'm going to be using uh, the Frosties. So, there it is. If you have any questions, ask away. If you have any ideas or improvements on how to improve this build, please comment down below. And please thumb up the improvement comments, because I would love to have any ideas on how to make this build even more nasty, devastating. This build is extremely insane. I mean, being invisible all the time is in incredibly OP. And uh, Bungie will probably have to nerf this or do something about it at some point in time because this might actually be broken and might actually break the Crucible a little bit uh, considering how nasty it is. Uh, I have some 1v3s coming out very soon too where I use this build. And uh, to say the least, the enemy teams get destroyed. <laughs> so hopefully you enjoyed this video. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe if you want more content. If you want me to make more build videos, show me some support on the video subscribe smash the like button and uh, i will definitely definitely make more build videos uh, i kind of wanted to test this out this is like, i think one of the first or second build video specifics that i've come up with uh, but i always have ideas in the back of my head of like how could i make this build for this to highlight this ability so 
I definitely want to make more build videos, but I want to see how uh, you all find people on YouTube react to this video here. So let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a good night. I'll see you later.